Hey guys, it's Jamie. So for those of you that know, I recently bought a Dean ML Dime Slime last year in the Birmingham Guitar Show. Um, it's one of the Made in China models. Unfortunately, it's not the Washburn Slime, which I would love to get one day. That's kind of my white well, so to speak. Um, it is also Dimebag's birthday today. Dimebag is, was, and will always be, in my opinion, the greatest metal guitarist of all time. He could riff with the best of them, he could solo with the best of them. For me, he was one of my biggest influences growing up, and still is. My right hand picking, the legato stuff. Dime, James Hetfield and Mick Thompson are probably the three people that I would credit as being kind of my biggest influences when it comes to playing guitar. And then I realised I haven't done a video with this guitar yet, so I thought, oh, this is the best way to do it. On Dime's birthday, I'm going to talk about my Dean ML Made in China slime. So every Dime Bear guitar, in my opinion, has to come with a Floyd Rose. For those uh, high-pitched squeezies, woo! Uh, has to have um, either a Bill Lawrence um, pickup or his own Seymour Duncan Dimebucker. I had a Dimebucker in my Schecter as well ever since I was like 18, so like 2004, because I was trying to recreate the Dimebag guitar. I had a Dimebucker and then I put an, a Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck and I changed them now as you may have seen and put EMGs in because I just didn't really get on with that setup and then I got this. Um, I've also changed the neck pickup. It did initially come with uh, a DMT, which I think is like a dime time. I've put in a DiMarzio Super Distortion uh, and flipped it around to put it in the next position. About a year ago, um, going through Instagram and becoming friends with Dimebag Rig Project, I saw a post that stated that that's what Dime did on a few of his original guitars. Um, when he had the Dean from Hell, I think it was, he was toying with the idea of changing pickups and they used to change them every single time. And he had Bill Lawrence's when he was working on a Seymour Duncan and they were Grady said, uh, I think in the video with Ola, and he probably said it loads of other times, that they tried out like 34 different pickups or something and they would switch them out every show to see which ones he got on with the most. And he did a similar thing with the neck. Um, I think he eventually settled on the Seymour Duncan 59 and that's what eventually is in his set that you buy. But he did at one point use um, the DiMarzio um, Super Distortion in the neck, which is actually technically a bridge pickup but any pickup can go in any configuration. You just rotate it or not. So yeah, enough talking about it. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm going into Amplitude and using the custom dime bag presets. Yeah. <laughs> 
I really like that net pickup, so I'm just going to show you what it sounds like in clean as well. The only thing I don't really like about it is the uh, upper fret access on the bottom is really difficult because your thumb is kind of up here when you want to reach to here. A lot of the guitars that Dimebag had were 22 frets as well, not 24 and I'm kind of used to 24. Uh, but 22 does affect the tone as well as you heard with the clean pickups. And one crazy thing that I can't believe Dime had that this one doesn't have is a lot of the Floyds were just mounted on top. So because a lot of them were stringed through guitars he took the original bridge out and then put a Floyd just on it and there was no rooting on the back. So I don't know how he did this kind of stuff where he was going. Because you can only do that when it's rooted that way. He's either a freaking genius or he did have a secret little root there that you couldn't really see. He might have just pressed so hard on the foam underneath and whoo, got it all the way up there. So yeah, that was my uh, Dean ML Dime Slime, made in China guitar. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of this guitar. Are you a big fan of it? Which one would you get if you were gonna get one? What would be the first riff that you would play on it? Big love and rest in peace to the man, the myth, the legend, the goat, the greatest of all time at Dimebag Daryl. Like the video if you enjoyed what I did today and don't forget to subscribe because I'm posting new videos all the time. I'll see you guys very soon.